So, I like to play rugby in my free time, and I also like to tell you about the identity property of multiplication. I don't really know how I could tie this together. I'm probably sure I could probably think of something creative, but I don't really have time for that. I just want to go through how we need to understand this. So, the identity property of multiplication, pretty much what that states is, um, well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Remember we talked about identity. Identity is you know, the characteristics that give something, it's you know, that unique identity that, that makes it something. So let's just pick A to represent any number, all right? Um, so any real number that we're gonna be talking about. Well, the identity property of multiplication states that A multiplied by some number needs to get back to A. So we need to think of all the numbers that we've talked about, that we looked on the number line and all that kind of stuff. All of those numbers, what is the number that's possible that we can multiply A by to get back to A? Well, when we think about that, the only number we can think of is multiplying by one. Um, a time, you know, and let's look at some examples. Five times one equals five. Um, you know, one half times one equals one half. So what happens is it doesn't matter because remember when you're multiplying by one, that means one set of your number. Well, obviously one set of your number is going to equal A. So we're all good. Now the important thing is, you know, why is this so important? Well, it's gonna become crucial when we start solving equations. But the next thing that's really important about this is a lot of times students forget it this way. So I can say A times one equals A, but it's very important for you also to know that using our cumulative property, which we already talked about, one times a equals a, right? Because a lot of times we have to use mathematical operations and we have to know what the coefficient of a is. Well, a lot of students forget, they say, oh, it's zero in front, or they forget what number can be in front of our a. Remember, one times a is equal to a, so there's always a one there. We just don't really write it out because it, it's commonplace. We should know this identity property of multiplication so we know there's always going to be a one there. We don't need to write it out. That's why it's so crucial for you to have this identity understood and memorized so you know that any number multiplied by one is always gonna give you back your original number, meaning that you can always have a one in front of that number to ha when you still have that number. Make sense, maybe?